your TV off, you'll miss the new twist in an iced tea scare sweeping the Midwest. Minnesota is now included in the recall of a popular drink that could be dangerous. An arrest today in a bomb-making operation. Some are saying was ready to strike at the Atlanta Olympics. And are these talking frogs trying to turn your kids into beer drinkers? Judge for yourself. And wait till you hear how a precious pup lost at sea found his way home. Stories you don't want to miss right here, right now on 4 News. Watched by more people than any other news source, this is 4 News. Store shelves are empty across Minnesota and the Midwest. Better safe than sorry after iced tea tainted with a foreign substance sends one person to the hospital. Thanks for being with us. I'm Jonathan Elias. And I'm Cindy Hilger, live from Nicollet Mall in downtown Minneapolis. Just yesterday, the case of this tainted tea appeared to center around the Chicago area. Well, today, eight states, including Minnesota, are part of a recall. It covers Lipton's Brew iced tea, sold in bottles, shipped to hundreds of Walgreens stores, stretching from Fargo, North Dakota, to Ohio. Four News reporter Mike Walsh is live outside of one of those Walgreens stores right here in Minneapolis. Mike. Well, Cindy, early this morning, the 61 Walgreens in Minnesota got the message to remove all Lipton's iced tea bottles from the shelf. It seems the company learned overnight that the uh, bottles laced with what's thought to be paint thinner came from a plant near Chicago. And that same plant may have sent some of that batch of tea up to the Walgreens in our state. The cooler shelves are empty. The Lipton's bottles locked in a back room, well away from cameras and thirsty consumers. And while Lipton's lovers say they'll miss the product, they call the Walgreens removal a wise precaution. It's a good product, and it's sad that that has to be the case, but uh, I think the consumer has to be protected, and obviously they would rather, you know, have a safe than sorry. So far, the only contaminated tea has turned up in this Walgreens on the north side of Chicago. A 23-year-old female college student got sick after drinking one bottle. She's recovering. Authorities then found two other bottles laced with what's rumored to be paint thinner. Local Walgreens managers say they've been told not to destroy Lipton's bottles. Officials may test some of them for contamination next week. Not all consumers sympathize with the retailer. I think that's dangerous. And people shouldn't drink it and people can die from it. And somebody should end up suing them. So far, the main unanswered question is, where did the contamination occur? It could have been at the plant. It could have been during distribution, during trucking. It could have been at that single Walgreens store in Chicago. We just don't know. But at this point, it is not a general recall, only affecting Lipton's iced tea bottles at Walgreens stores around the upper Midwest. Because you can find them at convenience stores and gas stations, and it doesn't come under Lipton's brew. It's just a Lipton's iced tea. Now, that's all right. Yes, that's fine. And, and it's still being sold at the grocery stores, at Byerly's, at uh, convenience stores, as you point out. They're so far not affected by this.